వెల్కమ్ టు ద బయాలజీ క్లాస్ చాప్టర్ టూ ప్లాంట్ కింగ్టమ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ విల్ లర్న్ అబౌట్ బ్రయోఫైట్స్ వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద జనరల్ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్ ఫ్యూచర్స్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ అండ్ ఎకనామిక్ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ బ్రయోఫైట్స్ బ్రయోఫైట్స్ ఆర్ ఫస్ట్ ల్యాండ్ ప్లాంట్స్ బట్ దే ఆర్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ ఆఫిబియన్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్లాంట్ కింగ్టమ్ because they are restricted to moist shady habitats they also need water for completing their life cycle their male gametes swim in water and then fertilization takes place fertilization needs water so they are amphibians of plant kingdom they are the primitive land plants bryophytes are primitive land plants they evolve from alga they are the descendants of alga like ancestors some alga have parenchymatous tissue and dichotomous branching they were the ancestors of bryophytes bryophytes are simple land plants they are called as cryptogams cryptogams are non flowering plants bryophytes form a dense covering on the surfaces they are non vascular cryptogams they do not have vascular tissues like xylem and phloem so they are non vascular cryptogams now let us see the general characteristic features of bryophytes the plant body of bryophyte is gametophyte because it produces gamete the gametophyte is haploid the gametophytic plant is not differentiated into root stem and leaf like structures most of them are primitive land living plants but a few of them are aquatic example rhizocarpus rhizocarpus is the aquatic member of bryophyta real is also aquatic member the gametophyte of bryophytes is conspicuous long lived phase of the life cycle the haploid gametophyte is visible structure it is long lived the sporophyte depends on gametophyte gametophyte generation is a dominant generation in bryophytes the bryophytes gametophyte show two forms thylaid forms forms with leaf like stem like structures the first two classes of bryophytes show thylaid structures in liverworts and hornworts the gametophyte is thylaid form leaf like stem like structures are found in mosses mosses are the third groups of bryophytes they have leaf like root like structures stem like structures are present liverworts are the first classes of bryophytes they were the first bryophytes to evolve on the earth surface the thallus grows prostrate on the ground in liverworts the thallus grows prostrate on the ground what is prostrate growth when a plant grows straight bends down once again comes up that is prostrate growth the plant body that is gametophytic body is attached to the stuff substratum by means of rhizoids rhizoids are root like structures they attach the plant body on the substratum the rhizoids do not involve in the absorption of water and nutrients 
their main function is fixation of the plant brevets have two kinds of rhizoids smooth walled rhizoids and pet or trabecule rhizoids multicellular scales are present on the ventral side the scales protect the newly growing parts moss are the third group of bryophytes they are the advanced bryophytes they form a dense cover on mountain surface the plant body of moss is erect and the erect body has a central axis central axis contains leaf like expansions and multicellular rhizoids multicellular rhizoids and leaf like expansions are found on the central axis of the erect plant body of moss what is point out here is gamete sporophyte the sporophyte remains attached on the gametophyte it depends on gametophyte there are different kinds of re reproduction in bryophytes let us see the vegetative reproduction first adventitious buds are produced in rixia fluitans adventitious buds arise from the lower part of the thallus tubers develop in anthocerous the tubers grow into new thallus gemme are found in macensia gemme are complex structures the singular gemma cup these gemma cups develop into new thallus fragmentation is seen in rixia the central part of the thallus undergoes disintegration so the branches are separated the branches become separate fragments they develop into separate thallus these are the different types of vegetative reproduction seen in bryophytes adventitious buds tubers gemme fragmentation are the types of vegetative reproduction the sexual reproduction is oogamous there is separate male and female gametes anthridia are the male reproductive organs archegonia are the female reproductive organs anthridia produce biflagellate anthrozoites these anthridia and archegonia are protected by multilayered covering in bryophytes anthridia and archegonia are protected by multilayered covering anthridia are male reproductive organs they produce biflagellate anthrozoites anthrozoites swim in water anthrozoites swim in a thin film of water found on the surface of the thallus and reach the archegonium and fertilizes the egg so fertilization needs water the fertilized egg is called a zygote it is deployed zygote is deployed so it is the first cell of sporophytic generation this deployed zygote undergoes mitotic division to produce the embryo embryo is also deployed so embryo is also a part of sporophytic generation embryo is a multicellular structure it divides again to produce the sporophyte sporophytic plant is also deployed 
The spore of flight depends on gamete of flight. What we see here down is gamete of flight containing leaf like root like structure. The spore of flight remains attached on the gamete of flight. The spore of flight has foot, seta, and capsule. Foot, seta, and capsule are the three parts of spore of flight. The spore of is attached on the gamete of flight by means of foot the basal part is foot with the help of the foot it is attached to the gamete of flight and gets nutrients and water from the gamete of flight the next part is seta the top part is capsule the capsules contain spore mother cells spore the spore mother cells are deployed so spore mother cells are the last cells of sporophyte generation spore mother cells undergo reduction division meiosis is called as reduction division because it reduces the chromosome number to half the spore mother cells undergo meiosis to produce haploid spores four haploid spores are produced from a spore mother cell after meiosis these spores are homosporous in bryophytes only one type of spores are produced so bryophytes are homosporous these spores are liberated from the spores next generation begins the spores are spread by elaters some sporophytes produce elaters they help the dispersal of spores this picture shows elaters spread the spore example Macansia. The spores germinate and develop into a gametophyte. Spore is haploid, gametophyte is haploid. Sporophytic phase is deployed, gametophytic phase is haploid. Zygote, embryo, sporogonium. Sporogonium is four mother cell. They are diploid structures. Zygote is diploid, embryo is diploid, sporogonium is diploid. They constitute the sporophytic phase. The green long lived haploid phase is gametophytic phase. In bryophytes, the haploid gametophyte alternates with diploid sporophyte. This is called as alternation of generation. Capetic capsida is the first class of bryophytes. Example: Rixia, Acacia, Porella, Riella. Riella is the aquatic member. Capetic capsida is common. The members are commonly called as liver worts. And the Ceratopsida, the second class of bryophytes. Example: Anthozoos and Dendrozoos. They are commonly called as horn words. Bryophyta, example Funaria, Polytrichum, and Sphagnum. They are commonly called as mosses. Dead thalli of Sphagnum gets accumulated and compressed, hardened to form peat. Peat is obtained from the Sphagnum. Sphagnum is a bryophyte. After compressed, hardened, it forms peat. Peat is a fuel. In North Europe, peat is used as a fuel in commercial scale. Nitrates, brown dye, tanning materials are derived from peat. Sphagnum and peat are also used in agriculture as packing material because of their water holding capacity. They hold water, so they are used as packing material in horticulture. Macansia polymorpha is used to cure pulmonary tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is called a TB. Tuberculosis affects bones, lungs, different parts. Tuberculosis of lungs is called as pulmonary tuberculosis. 
sphagnum, prayam and polytrichum are used as food.